The client got a new job. He was asked to install a camera in the hotel. This is the blueprint of the Lovit. And the owner wanted to install three cameras around the reception. One covers the left, one covers the right, and one covers the top. And the owner doesn't want to stop his business during the setup. Since there's guests checking 24 7, so the last thing the owner wants to do is punch the hole on the wall and pull the cables from the reception to the control room. There's Wi Fi access point at the middle of the hotel, so this solution has to be considered taking the Wi Fi cameras around the reception and connect those cameras to this Wi Fi access point. But it creates a risk since the camera and the guests are using the same Wi Fi. Moreover, you still need the power for these Wi-Fi cameras. So is there any better solution? Now let's find out. Before we get started, I want to say we do have the free online courses. It covers the IP camera, access point, fiber optic cable, etc. I've put the link in the description section below. It's completely free. Now let's see what we have in the control room. I've added a network video recorder to the system. The network video recorder is connected to this PoE switch. And this PoE switch is hooked up to this router to have the internet access. This gray cable is running to the access point. This is the 100 meter ethernet cable. And we have the access point in the lobby. It has the power and the data. In our solution, we are going to reuse this ethernet cable since we don't want to pull the cable, punch the hole in the lobby. And let's remove the cable from the access point. We'll use this cable to carry all four cameras and the access point. Here we do need a device called a PoE power switch. What's the difference between this switch and the regular PoE switch? This PoE power switch can be powered by another PoE device, such as the PoE switch in the control room. Let's connect this cable to this PoE power port, and then you will understand what I mean. Immediately, we see all the indicators are on. This PoE power switch is working. We didn't provide the extra power to this switch. It just gets the power from the POE switch in the control room through these cables. It's convenient, right? We didn't put the new cable, we just add the device at the lobby. Now we're getting the four POE ports, which can cover the three IP cameras plus the access point. All right, now let's attach this POE power switch to the wall. The next thing I want to do is I want to connect this access point back to our network in case the guest still has the Wi-Fi coverage. All right, we need a short patch code to link this access point to one of these PoE ports. Okay, now let's put this access point back to the wall. Connect the cable to one of the PoE ports on this PoE power switch. The indicators on. At this moment, this access point is getting the power. It will take a while for this access point to boost up to see other indicators turns on. Meanwhile, let's handle these two cameras. Yeah, we do need three cameras, but we cameras, but we get two cameras on the wall. This setup is pretty simple. We need to connect this camera to one of PoE ports on this PoE power switch. The indicators on, which means this PoE power switch is providing the power to this camera. We do have another camera. Let's finish the second camera and pick one PoE port from this PoE power switch and connect to the camera. The setup is pretty simple. There's no need to provide extra, extra power for these two cameras and the access points. We are sending the power from the PoE 
switch in the control rooms. There are two things we still didn't solve. One is we mentioned we want to device the camera from the access point, right? We don't want the guests to see the IP cameras after they go through the network through this access point. So the one thing we need to do is we need to log into the web server of this PoE power switch, create two VLANs, one VLAN for the access point, another VLAN for the IP cameras. We need to do almost the same thing for the PoE switch in the control room, also create two VLANs. One for the camera, another for the data. Another thing is about the power budget. This is the PoE Plus switch. It can output 30 watts through a single port. And the remaining power budget at the end of the cable is about 25.5 watts. It may still enough for the camera without the infrared. However, like these cameras with the infrared LED, the power budget probably not enough. The solution is we need to add a high power PO injector in this control room to take place of the power auction from this PoE plus switch. This high power PO injector can output 90 watts and the remaining power budget at the edge is about 71 watts, which is enough for three cameras and this access point. All right, that's all for, the, for today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have any question, please post the message in the comment section below. Thank you.